And ravishing voice, the lively heart of shade and light, powered by passion and ability. Hey, hey, hey. Red Carpet TV, you are the best. Oh, oh, oh. for festival Thanksgiving, for your birthday. if we expect to see, hear, or feel it when it comes to us. Let's not be afraid to receive each day's surprise. Whether it comes to us as distress or joy, it will open a new place in our hearts. Good evening and welcome to your event program on TV, Red Carpet, a groundbreaking spectacle. We begin this note with the wedding ceremony of popular songstress Ayo Balogun's son, Ayo Jimmy Balogun, and his beautiful bride, Jennifer Nwainwu. It was definitely a wedding to remember as the charmer Ayo Jimmy stole the hat of many. Finally, the entrapping fusion of the high and mighty and the blend of class and opulence punctuated Odo Dei Dori in Ondo State, where the immediate past information commissioner in Ondo State, Kayode Akimade, held the special thanksgiving service to give glory to God Almighty. <laughs> Sit back, relax and enjoy. My name is Olufumi. <laughs> The explosion of sweet melody from Yomi Ogutoibu propelled unified reactions from elated guests with streams of cordiality, conviviality and geniality that lifted the mood across the atmosphere. The invasion of Porsche cars, the influx of delightful ladies and dandy dudes, into the beautifully decorated Deed of Mott Papa's event center, richly unveiled the three-part wedding ceremony of Jennifer Nwainu and Ayo Jimmy Balogun, the son of popular Juju Kroner Ayo Balogun, with the traditional rite on Thursday, February 16, 2017. Decked in royal blue and yellow that unified the entire adornment of the venue, lovely guests serenaded the cool blast from Yomi Ubuntu Ibo and her band. <laughs> Observing traditional protocols, the duo of Alagaidu lovely set up the arrival of the groom's parents, Mr. Olujimi Balogun and his wife, the gap-toothed, gorgeous Juju Maestro, Ayotunde. Wages were paid, pleasantries were exchanged, and the two families were united in love. That paved way for the arrival of the groom, Ayo Jimmy, clad in red western outfits, the dashing dude of the Balungu dynasty, danced in amidst his good looking friend. As they performed all the necessary traditional marriage rites. The light skinned beauty Jennifer followed suit and is the retinue of friends. A 
In line with traditional process, Jennifer collected a calabash of palm wine and searched for her groom in the crowd. She finally found him at the couple's gazebo and presented him the palm wine. They later knelt before their parents to receive their marital blessings. From the attractively wrapped Bible, the groom extracted the ring and inserted it on her finger. They cut the engagement cake and the party rolled on. On Saturday, colorful guests made a bold statement of fashion at the expensive premises of Glitter Van Tenter, Lekki, as they disembarked from their slick automobiles and meandered into the hall for the real deal. The ceremony bounced up with a church service coordinated by the officiating ministers from Christ Healing World Church, Festac Town. High praises from the choristers shortly dissolved into the solemn hymns that ushered the bride into the hall in company of her elder brother. She joined her waiting groom to formally proclaim their love before the congregations. Their symbol of love were exchanged and they were joined and declared man and wife by Pastor Sam on a book special. In his sermon, Pastor Femi Amau refreshed the memory of the couple with the story of a Pandora box that depicted marriage as an institution where you get what you see. Is she thy companion, the wife of thy covenant? This is the wife of your covenant. She has become your blood. She has become what? And you have become her what? Her blood. Prayers were released on the couple while the special rendition from the man of God brought the service to a close. The third phase of the marital sojourn was a blast, a crackle of classiness that climaxed in a panoply of uncommon shindig. The dignity of the venue, dashes of magnificence and drizzles of excellence in the likeness of exquisite decor slid the entire arena into a real garden of glitz with a network of great personalities that struck a date with the noble families. Tolu Obe, son of the legendary Miliki Kruner, was on hand to arrest the mood. The floor was opened with the arrival of the couple's parents one after the other. The hip hop blast from DJ Baggio heralded the grand entry of the couple led by the bridal train. Chairman of the occasion, Mr. Olu Okewu, shared some marital experiences with the newly wed. For the lightning of the gathering was a special performance by Ogene Otuchi Star Boys. <laughs> They later cut their cake. The couple's first dance was inviting. <laughs> so was the mother-son and the father-daughter dance very exciting. <laughs> Short 
family, the venue burst into vitality as guests twirled to the music of Tolu Ope. <laughs> later reappeared in a traditional outfit to bask in the glory of their wedding day. It was an occasion that witnessed the presence of the high and mighty who have come to be a part of the success story of the Balogus from Oku State, who brushed off the cultural and geographical differences to be united in love with the Umayus from the eastern part of the country. For the Balogus, it was a day to prove their metals with an excellent hosting of urbane guests. The groom's mother, Queen Ayo Balugu, is a renowned figure in the entertainment showbiz whose juju genre of music has thrown her into the pinnacle of musical career. In the corridor of music, Ayo Balugu is a spectacle that blazes with confidence and charisma whenever and wherever the shot is called. With an intimidating catalogue of exploits and index of skills, the sensational songstress rocks the world of entertainment as the world queen of Juju music. <laughs> Her son's wedding was a good time to reap the reward of her handwork, dedication to noble Collins and glorious John in the music industry. The couple, their parents and some guests spoke to Red Carpet TV. One of our advice for them is for them to stay in the Lord, remain in the Lord and the Lord will see them through. Wish them good life, more blessings to their marriage. Well, I have to let them know that there is need to be patient. There is need to have endurance. They need to endure each other, patient with each other, being able to accept each other as they continue in life. Describe it. Uh, I'm so happy and I'm so full of gratefulness to God Almighty for making this day a reality, making this day a possibility. Ayo Jimmy, Adeshino Uluashino, Kim Felsi, Eri Leri, Omoni Bara Moyowu, Omo Asure Jagun, Omoni Gelede, Omo Ola Beokuta. The way he's truthful, I just think he's got sense. Like, so he's, I'm not going to say he's perfect, but it's just like a little God. So, those are just the things I see. You can imagine what a little God is going to have. A lot of things. <laughs> Uh, she's a wonderful lady, beautiful, and good friend. She's good. I'm happy. So I just hope for the best and pray we have a very happy marriage. From the Red Carpet TV crew, we congratulate Mr. and Mrs. Ban Mugu on the success of their son's wedding and wish the couple a blissful home. <laughs> The soul lifting praise songs from the choristers of the First Baptist Church, Odo Dei Dori, Undo State, 
On Sunday, March 12, 2017, put everyone in celebratory mood as the excitement heightened with each melodious song. The dances and felicities were all at the special Thanksgiving service held to give thanks to God for the life of a man of value and valor, an information manager per excellence, a journalist of high repute, and a man who has been a blessing and source of inspiration to others, Honorable Kayode Akimade, the immediate past commissioner for information in Ondo State, under the Dr. Olushegu Mimiko-led administration. For six uninterrupted years, Akimade held sway as the man at the helm of affairs at the Information Ministry in Ondo State. For this uncommon favor and many other good things he has enjoyed from the Lord over the years, he decided to return all glory to God and thus the reason for the great gathering of gorgeous guests, professional colleagues, political associates and community folks at this Thanksgiving service. The praise song slowed down a bit for some smooth flowing hymns as everyone chorused along. The Bible reading was read by the celebrant. Again, there was another choir administration by the marvelous choir of the church led by Madam Mugbadu Akimpoa. While ringing out the emulative attributes of Honorable Akimade, Reverend Sunday Ojewale seminarized on the topic, A Worthy Thanksgiving. The responsorial hymn ultimately paved way for the special Thanksgiving session of Honorable Akimade, who came out with members of his family to give thanks to God as people came out to dance with him. Led by the wife of the celebrant, Mrs. Faintola Akimade, who sang with fervor. The Thanksgiving was full of lovely songs and dances. Prayers were said for the Akimadis and the service came to a fine end. Guests then converged at the Akwe from country home residents of the celebrants for the second phase of the celebration. <music> On the tents, which were strategically placed across the sprawling compound, the reception took place. meals and drinks, guests were treated to good times all through. The excitement were capped with a supply of good music by the Olu Ebony Band. Bo 
born in Idori, in Idori local government area of Ondo State. Kayode Akimadi backed a Bachelor of Arts degree in English from the University of Adwekiti in 1992. He also has a Master's degree in Public and International Affairs from the University of Lagos. He is also a graduate of the Nigerian Institute of Journalism where he backed a postgraduate professional diploma in journalism in 1995. He is also an alumnus of the University of Pennsylvania, United States of America, where he studied dispute and conflict management. Akimade began his professional career in journalism with a news group, where he served as a Lagos State House correspondent between 1994 and 1996, after which he resigned his appointment to become an assistant editor with the now defunct Diet newspaper. He joined Tribune Group in January 2000 and left in the year 2007, having worked as the Lagos Bureau Chief. He subsequently got appointed as the Special Advisor on Media and Strategy to the former Speaker of the Federal House of Representatives, Right Honorable Dimeji Bankoli, where he meticulously served in this capacity till 2010. The widely acclaimed media genius and an associate member of the Nigerian Institute of Public Relations was appointed Commissioner for Information in Ondo State by the Governor, Dr. Olushegu Mimiko, in September 2011. He performed very brilliantly in this capacity to earn him reappointment as Commissioner for Information by Mimiko in his second term of office as Governor, where he served till the end of the administration. Akimade, his family and well wishes then joined Olu Ebony and his harmonious boys at the bandstand as they danced merrily till the end of the day. <laughs> Red Carpet TV spoke with the celebrants and some guests. Wonderful fellow, the son of this soil, and uh, somebody that we respect so much in this community because um, he is a lawyer person uh, to all of us, and he was particularly lawyer to the many past administration under the leadership of uh, Dr. Ulushegun Mimeko. He was very, very resourceful and very productive, and uh, he did the job. You know that was assigned to him very well all the times and that is why you can see the caliber of people that have come to grace his occasion of thanksgiving today and we thank god for his life because um, throughout even as the leader the political leader in this community he was very very loyal to us and uh, he never embarrassed us and uh, most of the time he was with us in everything that we did in this community we give God all the glory, sorry. Uh, and there's no doubt about it. It's remarkable. And we are happy for it. And uh, I'm sure God himself is happy with us today. Because one of his... Uh, uh, one of the requirements is giving thanks to God. And we thank God that and the black community has uh, done God's proud. He has done it the people proud too. He has done his family proud. So give God all the glory. Wonderful opportunity to thank him, to be in his presence, to express my appreciation for what he has been able to do for me in the last six years as commissioner for information in all those things. It's not a mean achievement. Mean achievement because for me to have been alive today is not by my power. Many people have served in previous administration, like I did now, and they've been consumed. But in his infinite mercy, he preserved my life and my family. From the Red Carpet TV crew, we rejoice with Honorable Kayodi Akimadi and we wish him well in his future endeavor. <laughs>
it when people know how to dance. We say congratulations to Honorable Kayode Akimade on the successful reign as the Commissioner for Information in Ondo State. For other placements and to put your event on this platform, call the numbers showing on your screen. And for a recap of this episode or any of our past episodes, visit our website on www.redcarpetnigeria.tv. You can also add us on your WhatsApp on 070-196-11111. And let's hear your comments. Till next week, I remain your host, Olufumi. Good night. Red